Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully created one of the Laravel project and when you install that Laravel project, it's provided this type of one of the folder structure, right? So right now in this video, I want to discuss little idea about that folder structure, then it should be very much helpful to you. So don't worry, step by step, every folder will work. Like first of all, that is our app. App means when you install that um, Laravel, it's actually provided one of the app folder into the app folder. They have the console that is our expectations, that is our HTTP and the models and the providers. So Laravel actually use one of the design pattern and that is the call that MBC pattern. That means the model, view and the controller. So in our next video, I will discuss about that uh, more details about that MVC, how that MVC pattern actually work, then it should be very much helpful to you. So right now, in short, when you want to work, work with the database, so everything database related, everything will be in our particular this model area by default that have the one of the model as a user.php model. Okay, friend. So when you're actually working with this database, that means if you want to get some of the data from the database, you can have to do, you have to get this data with this uh, model. So that is the model. Okay. And also the, uh, if you want to get this data, if you want to visibly, they have the another option for the resources for the view. So if you want to get this data and if you want to view it, you have to manage it, right? So you can manage it by the controller. So to the HTTP folder here, you can see that is actually the controller folder. So we here we have to do, we have to create all that our project controller in particular that area. So that is the, our main uh, functionality that means the controller. So with this controller, you can actually manage your all that model data and you can manage, you can visibly to the view page. So everything actually managed by this controller. And also there is a MIDI layer and MIDI layer is they have the by default some of the MIDI layer and MIDI layer is it's like as a guard. Okay, so if you like, uh, for example, if you go to some of the um, building and into the building, they have one of the guard. And if you go to room number 155, or if you want to go to the room number 157, then this guard will instruct you. Okay, that means you will be permitted that where exactly that one room number 157. Okay, so that is actually the MIDI layer. So with this, you can actually manage your all that user that means which user is authenticate for for access which url okay so here everything you can manage it with this midi layer so literally i will also show you how can create some of the midi layer and how can working with this everything i will step by step everything i will show you don't worry i will create some of the controller how can working with this controller how can working with this model everything i will show you and that is our providers that is all that by default uh, file that is our app service provider so here that is all that by default when you install that laravel new project automatically you'll get this type of one of the folder as a providers and there is a bootstrap so that is a bootstrap folder that is a configure so all that configuration file in particular that area okay so here all that configuration file there is our app configuration how we can working with this app configuration file literally i will also show you and then there is also another one as a database database means if you want to create some of the database okay so if you want to create some of the database migration stable eh, that is actually option for the migration so when you install that uh, laravel automatically it's provided some of the file like it's provided some of the um, table as a user table that is a password reset table and the create fail job table so that is a migration file so how can create that migration that means if you want to create some of the database table into the database area how you can create it with this migration literally i will also show you okay friend so that is our database portion that is a public portion that means here it, that is all that your css and the jss file will be set up on here so that means here we have to add it okay so that is the our public portion so here you have to add all that your css jss or the images folder that means if you want to load some of the theme then all the theme file will be saved in particular this public folder okay so also literally i will also show you how can working with this folder and that is the resources so into the resources area that is a by default all the css the jss and the language and the views so that is the main views file as i told you friend the volara will actually working with the one of the pattern that is the mbc pattern so this view page is actually that is actually the view page okay so when you actually get some of the data from the this data like for education purpose if this data actually comes from the database then this data actually comes from the database with our this model 
right as i told you it will be comes from without this model and it will display this data in our this view page so that is the all that view page as a welcome blades right now that is actually one of the welcome blade page so that is the view page so every view page we have to do we have to create in our particular this view folder area okay so it's very much important part so that is the view so if you want to get the data from the database that is a model and if you want to control it that means you get this data from the database and you want to visible it in our view page so that is the main portion will work by this controller okay so that is the mbc pattern so it's pretty much simple thing so when we work then everything will be more clear to you don't worry about it okay so that is the our all the resources and also there is the routes route means there are the two type of routes one is the api route one of the web route so if you want to create some of the application with the web then you have to use it with the web php if you create some of the api related some of the project then you have to create it with our api like if you working with the react.js if you want to working with the vue.js then you have to create it all that your api related everything into the api route area rather than there is a web route so right now we are um, working with the web version right so it is the web area i want to create some of the web project so for the reasons here i want to create this web so if you open it so that is the by default one of the url route and route means that is the our url okay like here that is uh, if you uh, click on here rather than that is actually one of the route okay so that is the route and also that is one of the route so every route you can actually manage it from to this position that is our routes area that is a web.php so here we have to create all that our route so friend also i will show you how can working with this route everything step by step will be more clear and then there is our storage and then there is our test is so that is all that by default file there is a vendor that means all that your by default packages is installed here you can see there is a composer so every by default file is installed into the vendor area so that's all and that is our env file that is also one important part i will also show you that things later like if you want to create some of the database and here if you want to create some of the connection with the database then you have to create this connection with our this env okay and also when you actually deploy this project to the web server that is our app url so here we have to do we have to update this app url so right now we are working into uh, the our local host for the reason sequence by default that is our local host okay so literally i will also show you so that is our emd file for creating the connection with the database so that is a cloud database portion so literally i will also show you and then that is our all the default file there is a composer json there is a package json which package actually you are using everything here should be display in particular that area and there is our composer json which uh, package so every package is also display you can see so right now there is a laravel package there is a laravel framework there is a laravel framework right now we are using as a 8 version and there is a jizzle that is a 7.0.1 uh, 7 so whatever the things you will install everything you will get from to this position okay so that is actually our composer json so that is some of the basic idea friends don't worry so literally every folder will work and everything i will show you with the live example okay friends so step by step everything will be much clear to you so in our next video i want to discuss about that mvc so mvc as i told you friend as a model view and the controller so how that things exactly work in our next video i will give you some of the short idea about that mvc so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video